Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMora with the End Times Research Ministry and I'd like to invite you to go over to my website that you see right here. It, here's the link to it. And I want to get right into one of the signs of the last days and it is a prophecy sign that is going to affect anybody that's on the face of this planet. And the sign itself we see in Scripture coming from our Lord Jesus Christ talking about the food crisis that's going to take place uh, on earth and especially during the tribulation period. So in order for me to connect the dots, I need to show you what the Lord told us about the food crisis. And you'll see it in Revelation chapter 6, verse 6. Here he says, And I heard a voice in the middle of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. Now when you do a study, you'll find out that what the Lord is actually telling us here is that people are going to be working. They're going to, be, they're going to have to work all day long for one small meal. And in this case, in Revelation 6, 6, he shows us that meal would be wheat or barley. Now that's enough food for one person, only one meal. And obviously that tells us that the food had become so expensive so, so that a person is going to have to work all day long just to afford a little meal, small meal just for himself, not even for a family. So in the, in the years of my ministry, I've been warning people continuously to keep your eyes on the news because you will see year after year how the cost of living is going to go up and the cost of food is going to skyrocket. Now, one of my warnings that I gave, you'll see it, I put up, and I'll just quote myself, it's, and this comes from my October the 19th, 2011 post, and again, I put Revelation 6.6 6 is where Jesus shows us that people will have to work all day long for one small meal. And I told you to watch for more news showing us the food prices are climbing. And today is no different, just like I believe it was last week that I gave a lot of information about the cost of living, the food going up. And now there's more news today that I wanted to share with you. So let's go over to that news, the first article. So the title for this article, Food Price Inflation Erodes Value of SNAP Benefits. Now, benefits provided by the USDA Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, formerly called the Food Stamp Program, were increased in 2009 by a provision of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Now, previously, USDA research found that low-income householders' food spending increased in their food security improved following the increase in the SNAP benefits. However, and this is where you really need to be starting to pay attention, however, from 2009 to 2011, food price inflation eroded about half, that is a lot, about half of the value of the SNAP benefit increase. Now, a new report released by the USDA's Economic Research Service examined whether and uh, to what extent did food spending decline and food security worsen as the inflation-adjusted value of the SNAP benefits decline. Some of the major findings of the study were as followed. And from 2009 to 2011, food security worsened for SNAP recipient households but not for low-income non-SNAP households. As the inflation-adjusted value of SNAP benefits declined due to inflation, adjusted for inflation in food prices, the maximum SNAP benefit declined by about 7% and reduction of $47 per month for a family of four. Results of the two studies suggest that increasing the maximum SNAP Benefit by 10%, or $69 per month for a family of four persons, would reduce the number of SNAP recipient households with low food security by 22%, while reducing the maximum benefit by 10% would increase the number 
by about 29%. So again, the food prices are going up. It's affecting people's lives and especially the poor, those people who are out of work, those people who are on welfare. And obviously you can see that there has been a decline from 2009 to 2011 and it's moving again to 2012 and to 2013 because in 2013 we are witnessing now that a lot of the people are having their food stamp programs taken away because the economy is so bad and the United States government uh, can handle these many benefits. So the benefits are shrinking. So this is just another indication about the road not just America is on, because what happens in America is going to affect every other country around the world. So let's go over to the next article, and you'll see this article came out on the 12th of November. So this is a current article. Rise in food prices leads to high inflation in October. And so essentially what you're going to find out, and of course this is dealing with India. It's not just the United States. We're seeing food prices in many, many nations around the world that are going up. Inflation is forecast to have risen to uncomfortable level, levels for policymakers in October due to the stubbornly, here you go, high food prices. Adding to the pressure for further interest rate rises despite slowing economic growth. Actually, this is the heart of the, or the meat of this report if you will and there's other information it talks about you know the percentages and but you'll the bottom line in here is that the prices are going up food prices are going up this is what we know is going to happen uh, at a greater scale during the tribulation period we know this for sure as the Lord pointed out in Revelation 6.6, 6, there's definitely going to be food, a food crisis during that time. So, again, what do I tell you? Well, if you believe the Lord, you'll prepare. And the only really way that you can prepare is to give your life over to Jesus Christ and to trust him completely. Because without that, you won't have any hope. But for us who love the Lord, we always have the hope. We know that he takes care of us. And that is that is the greatest hope that anybody can have. Now you will see in the future, you're going to see other articles about the food inflation. You're going to see other articles about how people are struggling just to feed themselves. Now if you'd like more information about that today, uh, all you have to do is go over to my website, and once you get to my website, and here it is again, uh, just click that link, and you'll have access to my book. You can download my book. There's a whole section. Read Chapter 1, because you'll see all of this type of information in Chapter 1. So thank you for allowing me to connect the dots between what the Lord warned us and what's actually going on. God bless.